Well, howdy folks, welcome back to Rod's Fishing Adventures. We're out on the Illinois River today. We're gonna do a little cat fishing. I'm gonna try two different things. I got some night crawlers and I got stink bait. We're gonna see which one does the best. I believe I know which one it'll be, but we'll see. Uh, what I'm using is just a simple Carolina rig. I'm gonna stink bait worm on this one. This one's set up the same way. Carolina rig, but it's just got a little two watt circle hook on it. We'll use that night crawlers on that one. So come along with me and see if we can catch a few of these catfish. The bad thing about worms, using worms, night crawlers, is you don't know what you'll catch on it. You might, you might catch catfish, it might be a drum, carp, buffalo, uh, you just don't know. So all I'm really doing is just kind of gobbing it on that hook there. I don't have no rhyme or reason, just stick it on there. They seem to bite on it no matter what. We wait. The night crawler is starting to get hit on. First one to get hit. We got something. We got, oh, it come off. It come off. Ooh. A drum. A very big one. There's a decent catfish. Not huge, but a decent one. Eater. Finally. I was beginning to wonder. There we go. Good pan size one. Got him. Oh. He's bigger than what I thought he was, or he's a good fighter, one of the two. Maybe there, I got him hooked sideways, maybe. Not bad. Good fish. There we go. That's a decent fish. There we go. He just barely bit nibbling at that like he's a little fella. I 
Calm down. There we go. Oh, that's a good one. He's a pound and a half. Oh. I don't know what it is, but it's fighting. That's running right at me. It's a drum. It's a drum. There he is. Ooh, we got something good now. It's on the worm. Although this is a limber pole, so it really feels good anyway. There. Catfish. There's our first catfish with a worm. We've caught two drum, a billy gar. I'm not sure if I've got the billy gar, billy gar on a video or not. I'll check when I do my editing. There's a catfish. Got him. Whatever's pulling a little drag out. Drum. Calm down. drum. I would cut one of them up for bait, but I'm not going to. Ah, I missed him. I don't know how the heck I missed him. No, I didn't miss him. <laughs> that little big guy. <laughs> that was my son calling me. You've seen him in a few of my videos, Kirk. But there's our there's our baby drum. I just might cut him up for bait. I'll throw him in the cooler with the catfish on ice and I'll have him in case I do decide to. The worms are starting to outperform the catfish. I've caught more fish on worms now than I have stink bait, but Stink bait, you're almost guaranteed a catfish. If something bites on it, it's going to be a catfish. Worms, it's hard to tell what you get. But uh, we're catching fish anyway, and we're having a ball a little side by side comparison of worms to stink bait. So. Another catfish. He's a little small to keep, but catfish nonetheless. There we go.
Second one of them. Gar, short nose gar, I think they call them some of them. A nuisance. But folks, I run out of worms. Uh, the, I believe the worms outdid the stink bait as far as numbers of fish, but most of them was trash fish, drum, billy gar. I caught one uh, catfish on it. So I put a little bigger hook on a little J hook's all I got. Uh, it's a, actually trout line hooks what it's made for. I got that little drum head I'm gonna put on there. I got my fun fishing adventure shirt on today from Scott and Shane over at their channel. Uh, go over there and check them out. I think they just broke 300 subscribers. See if we can get them up to 500. Give them a subscribe and a like and all that. Go check them out. I lucked out there. I lucked out there big time. That foam handle kept that floating for just a few minutes or a few seconds. Ooh. This might be a pretty good fish. Yeah. Feels like it. I haven't seen him yet. Whoa! That's a pretty good fish. Oh yeah. There we go. That's a good channel. That's a real good one. There we go. Now there's a good channel cat. He'll have some good plays on him. I believe I'm going to switch this cut bait out to stink bait. I've had it sitting in the water probably a half hour and ain't got a one, not even one nibble on it. So which I've never had real, real good luck with drum anyway. I have caught fish on them, but not not a lot of good luck. The comparison between uh between the night crawlers and the stink bait, I believe we caught so far we caught more fish on the night crawlers, but like I said it was I think I had four or five drum, three billigar. And only one catfish so if you want to catch a catfish stick to the stink bait because that's about the only thing to lead it there we got him oh feels like a good one i can keep him buttoned up and he's not huge 
this old limber pole. It'll make it for a fun fight. This light action pole is ball catchies on. Even these smaller fish feel like they're monsters. And he swallowed that. So he's definitely going home probably. I'm not even gonna fight trying to get it out of him. Just put a new hook on. Got him. Ooh. Like I said light action pole, it feels feels like a monster each one does. It's a blast though. Yeah, he ain't real big. In fact, he'll probably go back. A little bigger. We'll keep him. Got a bite on the other pole now. Swallowed it. That's a little better fish too. fish he swallowed her and folks I believe I'm gonna call it a day on this one uh, we did that little side by side comparison with the worms and the stink bait Stink bait will catch catfish every time. That's about all the worms you'll catch anything on it. Uh, the, the worms started out kind of slow, but then they picked up and I ended up running out of them. I had a box of 12, a dozen of them, and I run out pretty quick when, they, when the guard and, and the drum got a hold of them. But uh, we ended up with, I think this is the eighth one in there, be in the, uh, as far as I kept, and I threw back three or four small catfish. I can't remember now. 
But remember, if you like these videos, please subscribe, hit that thumbs up button, share it with all your friends and family, hit that notification bell. I'd sure appreciate it, and God bless y'all.